one minute. Welcome to Lynn Cullen Live at PGHCityPaper.com. Email your questions and comments to Lynn at PGHCityPaper.com. Yes, indeedy. Why don't you do that? And uh, while you're at it, why don't you uh, join me and Chris Potter? Yeah. Why don't you listen first before you start criticizing us? <laughs> you listeners. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. So Potter's here. He gave me a little Ooh. scare this morning. I was looking at my tweets and... Uh, he was you busy know, was tweeting just... away. He was down at some demonstr, you know, covering some scruffy demonstrators, obstructing traffic, people trying to get to work, and doing some. What a I don't revolutionary know. you are! Yeah, okay. it was a protest of. So what was it? Uh, it was a SEIU led protest um, about the Tom Corbett uh, school SEIU budget. SEIU big uh, yeah. union. Uh, protesting the Corbett school cuts. And so, you know, when does such protests do? They tried to present some stuff to the governor and the governor, the local governor's office, uh, yeah, the old can. Lazarus building. And of course, the doors were locked and the elevators were down on the ground floor and not <laughs> capable of moving. So, you know, they sort of flung themselves against that windshield and then they went out and they had this rolling billboard. It was like um, 10 feet long on some plywood with little locking wheels. And then they pushed that out into the corner of fifth and wood. And Okay. Let me, let me, let me. You're going to, I know what you're going to do. No, but you go ahead. No, I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, I'm asking a question that's probably occurring to a lot of people who are listening. I know what you're going to say. Um, that seems so familiar because it seems like the time that I was at one of these demonstrations that you were at, at Station Square, oh, yeah. where there was an Office. effort to give um, a petition to to me. To, to me, yeah, his office. Uh, right. And it was, the, so it was the same shtick. And of course, the elevator's closed, security's around, the demonstrators say their thing, and then they leave. Right. Um, as far as I know, that didn't get a lot of coverage. As far as I know, this won't get... I mean, what gets coverage is 10 demonstrators. I mean, I already saw Katie K's little tweet. 10 demonstrators arrested. Mm -hmm. It's not what they're protesting that gets coverage. Mm -hmm. It's that they got arrested. Right. Um, traffic was stalled. Yes. Um, how... Seriously, I, mean, I it was a serious question. How effective, seriously, 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 mm -hmm. is this kind of pro forma, here we go again, same folks, same thing, same result? Right. What does it do? Except maybe fire up the people who are protesting, but they're fired up anyway. I don't well, get it. That's I not, don't get that's it. not unimportant. I, I don't know. No, I mean, it's, it's not, but I... I I'm it's I, it's hard to it's sometimes hard to argue tactics because I think um, <laughs> the question is does anything work in this country because everybody's on Facebook and 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 waiting for the next episode of Mad Men or whatever, um, so I'm, I'm I'm usually pretty loath to um, criticize people's tactics or whatever. I guess the argument would be, and I I didn't see your KDKA um, thing or whatever. The argument would be that at least <laughs> at least somewhere in the reporting. They actually mentioned what it is they were being arrested for, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you can certainly argue. Conversely, you know, the opera protest that happened the other week. I, yeah. Um, I actually I wrote a column about that this week, and um, probably won't make me any friends anywhere. Um, 
that protest got a lot of coverage and maybe even more than I think it probably deserved in a way. Um, oh, really? Because, yeah. I mean, you know, this you're, you're not going to like this and a lot of other people won't either. I mean, I actually have sympathy for the opera in this situation. I mean, the opera's job is to raise money from people who like the opera. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess a disproportionate number of opera goers probably pulled the lever for Tom Corbett back in 2010 and hoped to do so in 2014. And I mean, I think I think some of the I think the way they handled some of that stuff was pretty tone deaf, um, oddly, considering they're the opera. Um but, you know, I, I just can't – I tried really hard to get worked up and angry at the opera for, for doing this, and I just couldn't make myself do it any more than I would have gotten angry at the Chamber of Commerce for inviting them for a breakfast. Okay. All right. But, I'm not going to – you know. But, you know, again, you can never – and here's the thing. But that, the perspective, that got more coverage because – It sure did. You know why? Because it was unusual. Because it wasn't the usual That's right. Suspects. That's right. But the and problem that, is – the problem is, is you can never – <laughs> Look, I work for me, and I can tell you what gets into the paper in any given week or any given day. It can be hard to predict if you're not inside um, the newsroom. In fact, it can be hard to predict if you are inside the newsroom sometimes. So you just kind of have to like you just kind of have to do it. And sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you don't. And sometimes your message gets through, and sometimes it just you know smacks okay. up against the wall. Okay. Were you like checking your tweets while I was talking? I was going to see what it was Katie K Radio, and they they said (laughs) you'd rather be somewhere else. Ten (laughs) protesters. You'd rather me be somewhere else. Ten protesters have been arrested by. But you know your tweets were like that too. Yeah, we were talking about protesters, and they were arrested, and the police and and traffic was backing up, and blah blah blah. So you know, and when uh, the way people get their news comes down to uh, 168 characters, whatever the hell, it, 140, 140, what? Yeah, 140 characters. 140 characters. Uh, you can't exactly uh, explain uh, what people are. Well, here. ideally, you don't. You know, I mean, and like I we, went to. Have, so this is about Corbett's what? The school, the school budget school, issues, school budget, principally, issues. which is which is what the opera protest was about. Yes. Yes. So. A lot of protesting going on about that. Yeah, which is all to the good, I say. Um, yeah. So, but uh, as I said, I I, I I I have friends who are chronic protesters, and I I just don't understand how they can time after time do it, see the same people, hear the same people, get the same response. Yeah. Da, da, da. It just seems so. It well, almost it starts to seem to me. Is it's like uh, it's self-involved. It doesn't. It, it, if it's about reaching people, right? I, it doesn't well, seem what to would do you, that. What, what I don't know people? what you do, ah, well, but I think you obviously. This is, a, I think, a very primitive kind of protest, and I mean, everything is now Facebook, and I know they they are doing that as well. Yeah, I but mean, unless I think... you're going to come out with a bunch of people. Right. I would say generally don't bother. Unle- uh, yeah, it, it, I don't know. Well, I know you don't know. I mean, I, I just it's not, I mean, I agree with you that, you know, this stuff doesn't this stuff worked better this stuff works better when the people who are actually being like when you had the cops in the civil rights era or in or in India during, you know, British rule, you know, where the people who are actually arresting you were really the same. They were synonymous with the power you were complaining about, right? I mean, you're down there in Selma, Alabama, and the problem is the sheriffs are racist and everything else. So your confrontation directly with those people, um, it, it's it's sort of this perfect mesh. No, these are union ends, people. But this is going at it, this, is, this, union is, uh, this is this is right. This is this is Pittsburgh City police officers who don't necessarily give a damn, about, you know, one way or the other. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't work in quite the same kind of way, but. Um, again, I, I can only be sympathetic to people who are trying to do whatever they can okay. do to put issues in front of people. You cynic. <laughs> <laughs> you complacent. It's not cynical. <laughs> it's, a, I'm, it's a question. Just I'm just asking a question. That's all I'm doing. Um, you know, I, I start every day reading the newspapers, yeah. which is a very hard way to start a day. Sure. It is. You should start it the way I start it. Which, what, with which a is trying to cr- cram a sippy <laughs> cup into the gaping maw of a screaming child <laughs> while reading a newspaper at the same time. Okay, all yeah. right, okay. That's Anyway, I'm sorry. Been there, done yep. that. <laughs> so you have. So I was, 
you know, all these polls they do about how Americans are feeling about things and how this is not good for Obama because Americans are feeling uh, negative and depressed and we're moving in the wrong direction. And anybody who consumes news would feel that way. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'd be an idiot not to feel that way. Right. And um, and media, by its very nature, reports on all the things that are wrong. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Okay. Were I'm you gonna sleep? No, I'm having a slate like allergy thing. Go ahead. I come can tell. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this one, there's this one little section here where they do little quick stories. Blah, 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 yep. blah, blah. And the first three, I'll just read um, the headlines. This is what somebody takes in, and you tell me how it doesn't de- just depress you. Deweese sent back to prison. A lot of people are happy about that story. Justice Melvin <laughs> hearing delayed until June 8, and yeah. priest to plead guilty in child porn, uh, char- to child porn charges. Okay, so what we have here are all of the people we're supposed to supposedly look oh, up to, mm-hmm. heading the institutions that are, right. we're supposed to look up to. Here is the judiciary, our legislature, and our uh, religious uh, right. leaders. And they're all going to jail. See, well, the, the, the Justice but, Melvin thing, I actually take a certain amount of comfort in that. <laughs> well, yes, of course. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. How do yes. you not, day, on a daily basis, see this stuff and think we're fucked? I don't know. I mean... What? Oh, see, he got up on the... I mean, yeah. you're, you're the happy guy now? You know, I mean, so... How many times have you said I don't one's, know? One's, one Supreme Court justice out of seven ain't so bad. <laughs> right? I mean, the odds are pretty good that your Supreme Court justice has not been indicted. <laughs> Look on the bright side. The glass isn't one-seventh corrupt. <laughs> It's six, it's six sevenths seven. pure. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just six sevenths uninvestigated. Or right, right, there you go. Nobody's tasted it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, it's, yep. Yeah, I mean, obviously these are not, but, on the, you know, on the bright side, I'm glad to see that the, you know, the Catholic Church still feels like they've got the moral standing to go out there and sue the federal government so they don't have to have to have their insurance companies provide benefits to female employees or so that's good you know i'm excited to see them still claiming the moral high ground after all of that stuff it is pretty breathtaking isn't it pretty damn breathtaking yeah. sorry i i did such a rant yesterday did you? On this. i couldn't i don't no, i just okay. started to go insane yeah okay well, I don't, um i don't want to trigger a okay no, <laughs> another don't. episode no and i no. <laughs> it was just about all these religions all of them Male dominated, you know, these hierarchical male dominated religions, and it's all they just make war on them. It's not true of Presbyterianism, the one true faith. Listen, (laughs) Presbyterian, (laughs) Presbyterianism is like doesn't even church represents it, doesn't even it, doesn't even rate a footnote in. You guys are. Oh, now you've done it. Now it's yeah. on. Yeah. I'm going to bust yeah. out some Martin Luther on you, sister. Now I know you had a good, you had, you had your time. You had oh, your see. time right. at the, you know, first 200 years of the country, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. That but wasn't really Presbyterians. You're gone. I guess a lot of it was. Yeah. Not a Presbyterian on the Supreme Court? Yeah, that's true. Not an that's Episcopalian true. either? Yeah. yeah. Catholics. And Jews. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the it's <laughs> judicial equivalent. Nightmare. Judicial equivalent of a Reese's of a Reese's peanut butter cup. Just sort of you got your Catholic Jew judiciary and my Jewish one. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's so I I, I was reading um, this review in the New York Times about some show that's on. It, it's all about uh, uh, it's just a bunch of comedians standing up, the actors really playing comedians doing Jewish jokes. Right, and it sounded so it sounded so funny, and they were talking about how it's politically incorrect, and they go here, there, and all over the place. And they said that there, there was one, and I know I've heard this joke before. I mean, a lot of this material you've heard before, and I'll screw it up because I can't tell a joke. <coughs> but it's two old Jews uh, passing by a uh, Catholic church, and there's a sign up that says, um, you know, come in, talk to us. For everyone who converts, give you 50 bucks. 
<laughs> so what? What if the old Jew says to the other old Jew says, "I'm going in. We'll see, uh, see what they have to say." The other one's standing, waiting. Is for 20 minutes later, his friend comes out, and he says, he says to the friend, he said, "So, did did you convert? Did you get the money?" And the the friend says to him, "You people, all you think of is money." <laughs> That works Isn't on a couple it? levels. I, I like know, that a lot. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. That joke offended everyone everywhere, <laughs> I think. You see it in this age of political correctness. You can't yeah. tell jokes. It, it, it like political correctness kills humor. A lot of humor. It really. I don't know. I, <laughs> yes, it does. Do you really feel like there's a lack of that? Kind Do you think of thing Jews out there? wouldn't laugh at that? Yeah, Jews sure, laugh of at yeah, that. Sure. But that's, but that's a, the ability to laugh at a. St- you know, whatever. But that's, that's happens- the difference of, be, of of laughing at yourself and then being laughed at, right? I mean, that's just human nature. You can tell a joke on yourself that you wouldn't necessarily appreciate coming from somebody else. <laughs> like, that's funny, though, I have to say. <laughs> I didn't tell it well You either. people. The moment, the moment you did <laughs> you people, I was like. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's good. Well, back to the. Back to the grind. <laughs> Back to the, the Ori <laughs> sisters. Oh, yes. Look. Page three. Wall Street Journal today. Wow. All three of them. One looking more hideous than the next. I was going to say, once again, the Wall Street Journal engaging in its flagrant sex appeal for a cover there. Yeah. You know what? Do you think, the thing is, the justice is on the top. She's the only one who's smiling. or Not, <laughs> not, not smiling, but she looks normal. These two. I'm telling you, if those two don't look like the Wicked Witch of yeah. the West and her... Here, I'll hold... You've seen these pictures. Do yeah. they ever smile? No, but you're right that the justice always looks... She looks like the most pleasant of them. Here are the, here are the two on... Okay, and here's... Yeah, the justice looks like a normal person. Yeah. I also like how they always say, my faith will see me through. That's like... That's what... um. That's what... uh. That's what Jane said, you know, or her lawyer said about her after, you know, the guilty verdict. Her, she's a person of strong faith. <laughs> and, then, and then the justice was like, my faith will see me through this. It's just like, you know, hey, if God were on your side, you'd have gotten away with it. <laughs> 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 he'd have you might your tracks. <laughs> as he has yeah, so, so many, many others. others right. So, I mean, you might want to reexamine the tenets of your faith there, Ori. <laughs> Sister, o- sisters Ori. Um, you know, you just look at the, you see, this says something about a person when their faces look like that. Well, look, they're, they're getting photographed in the in the context of a criminal. Have you ever seen a photograph of either of them where they're smiling? Yeah, not really, but I just blame, I just blame the media. <laughs> if I have lots of photos where the Ori's are dispensing, you know. Well, so they have anyway. They got big jobs. play in the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania represent. That's right. Here, aren't you proud? All over the country now, they're reading about the Ori sisters, and it says, only two and a half years ago, the Ori sisters, daughters of one of the city's most prominent families, prominent political yes, families, yeah. you should, they should have said, wielded considerable clout. And then they tell the rest of the story. And they, of course, they always go to Terry Madonna. Yes. Always. He's the yes. go-to guy. Oh, he you is. need a quote on um, uh, Pennsylvania politics? We have yeah. to call Terry Madonna. And here's what he says. There is no precedent that I know of in modern Pennsylvania history. I think he could have left out the modern. For three people in the same family, three sisters. Yes. All with the same first initial. To face these kinds of <laughs> allegations. How many children in that family, all beginning with a J? They I don't know. Four bro- they have six other siblings. So there's nine kids. They're all named... J- Jack, J- Jason, Janine, Joan, Joan. J- Jane. I don't know who the others are. I assume they're probably... Well, let's think children. of some... Uh, Juliet. Oh, yeah. There's like a ton of uh, names out there. Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah. Jebediah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jebediah hey, Ori. He was the founder of the family, <laughs> Jebediah <laughs> Ori. <laughs> he, founded it. he founded them on just rock-solid conservative principles and fantastic bangs. That was it. He was, he was just a, a rye farmer. <laughs> and a knitted brow. They always... <laughs> who, was, who was known for his scathing looks. <laughs> okay. 
But under this Wall Street Journal article on the Orioles is this bizarre story about a group of anti-supremacists. Oh. Okay? Sounds like I could be in that group. Yeah. What is an anti-supremacist? Well, a group of... <laughs> what, do they beat themselves up? Is no! <laughs> they go out amazing. and bash themselves? <laughs> they, they, they went hooded into a restaurant in a Chicago suburb and beat the holy heck out of nine people sitting in the restaurant who are part of a right supremacist. Yeah, I knew you'd they like that. Hoods. They, they were wearing hoods. Yeah, they wore hoods. It says at least nine people were in, they burst into a restaurant and beat with batons and hammers. A group of <laughs> I guess dinos- I feel bad for just cheering the savage beating of right wing fascists. The people injured are members of the Illinois European Heritage Association, which is affiliated with Stormfront, oh, yeah. right. which are absolute neo Nazis. Um, authorities described a chaotic scene with hooded attackers. These are the anti-supremacists. Right. Storming into the restaurant, smashing plates, striking the group of diners. The whole thing took about 90 seconds. <laughs> how did they know they were going to be there? Like, how? Well, I don't know. Is that, just like, is that like the Denny's has a table for them? So anyway, they got, they, got, they got attacked. And uh, I mean, That's they got the arrested. Barrel. What was the restaurant? Um, they don't. A cracker, <laughs> cracker barrel. barrel. <laughs> Yeah. Just go in and swing at anybody on a percentage basis. <laughs> the odds are pretty good. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, now I'm going to get savagely beat when I leave the office today. But two of the guys who had been attacked were also arrested uh, uh, because uh, one was arrested because he'd been wanted in Texas. <laughs> Charges of child porn. Great. And the other was charged with unlawful possession of weapons uh, by a felon. That's a shocker. So no, these are, it, it it was so they beat up a bunch of people who jerks, yeah, total yeah. despicable jerks. However, the guys that beat them up. Um, but did they are, get away? No, three oh. of them are in jail and okay. they've got some serious bond. Their public defender is not returning comment. But. <laughs> Okay, so maybe our side's getting a little... Yeah. yeah. Anti-supremacist, I th- I thought, what does that mean? Well, what does it mean? I just, I mean, I just like, are they, is it an organized group? Like, I just... Are they going to go and, like, burn upside-down crosses on people's lawns or something? Like, on know. white people's lawns? I don't know. They're they're taking on the tactics of their... Of the, pe- of That's, the people that they're opposed to. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just... Oh, well. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, you know what? 